Tired of feeling lost in the ever-evolving world of IT? Craving a shortcut to success? Whether you're a curious beginner or a seasoned pro, looking to sharpen your skills, look no further. In this 7-minute blitz, we're condensing years of IT knowledge into bite-sized 90-second bursts of brilliance. I'm Vitus DK, a certified IT trainer with over 20 years of experience at institutions like UWM, JP Morgan Chase, Alamo Colleges, Hawaii Pacific University, Bank of Hawaii, you name it. I've had the privilege of training thousands of individuals on various IT topics, and I'm excited to share my knowledge with you. First off, let's decipher the IT jungle. What exactly is computer science, information technology, and information systems? Let's break it down. Welcome to Getting Into IT, the big picture. IT is an umbrella term loosely used to cover computer science, information technology, and information systems. Let us clarify each one of these domains. CS is a study of computation theory to solve problems using science, math, and algorithms to design and develop computers, that is hardware and software. IT is a study of using computers and tools to solve real-world problems and building information systems. Information systems includes the technology that facilitates a business, the people that interact in the business, and the business processes and activities conducted. IT careers range from designers and developers to technicians and administrators and analysts and managers. Many of these job roles overlap between CS, IT, and IS. Trending and popular careers include AI, cloud computing, cybersecurity, DBA, DevOps, product owners, scrum masters, and project managers, as well as data scientists. Next, buckle up for a whirlwind tour through the history of IT, from punch cards to AI. Witness the incredible journey that has shaped and sharpened our digital world. Welcome to the second video on getting into IT, the evolution. The early days saw the use of simple tools like Abacus to count. Around the 1800s, the first machines like the Difference Engine were built. Then came the first generation of computers in the 1940s, powered by vacuum tubes using machine language ones and zeros like the electronic numerical integrator and computer. In the late 1950s, second generation computers like the IBM mainframe used assembly language powered by smaller transistors. The introduction of operating systems came in the 1960s with third generation computers running on integrated circuits that were faster. Microprocessors have been powering fourth generation computers in recent years with the introduction of PCs, the internet, and use of high-level programming languages. Current and future trends in the fifth generation involve Internet of Things and supercomputers, artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, neural network, natural language processing, and robotics. Innovative enhancements like size, speed, and processing power have improved. Storage is smaller, but with more capacity. User experience has improved from command line to graphical user interface. An exponential internet growth. All right, now unleash your inner techie. Learn and understand the fundamental building blocks of every computer from CPU to GPU. We're going to demystify the hardware that makes it all tick. Welcome back. This is the third video on getting into IT computer components. Computer systems comprise of physical hardware devices that are either inside the computer case or outside around the periphery. The software instructions, which we cannot touch, provide core systems functionality and other specific purposes. Outside are input devices for interacting with the computer. Output devices display information processed by computer and other very important components. Inside you find the central processing unit, the brain, random access memory for storing data during processing, and storage devices for permanently saving information. Computer software includes system software and application software. The operating system has foundational instructions. Utilities provide core functionality and dev tools for translation. 
application software and numerous from general purpose to business apps, productivity, multimedia, and more. CS and IT jobs include engineers who design, develop, and test the hardware and software, technicians who install, update, repair the system, network database systems or cloud admins, or even sales and manager roles. In general, computer systems could be host servers, client PCs, or mobile devices. Now, the Internet versus the World Wide Web, two terms that are often used interchangeably but with distinct meanings this 90 second lesson will clear up the confusion welcome to the fourth video on getting into it internet and the web the internet was born in the 1960s it is a global network of interconnected devices which enable services like email the web on the other hand also known as the world wide web leverages this internet to link documents and resources using a browser to display them to understand these better, we need to explore protocols, tools, and resources of the web. IP addresses like GPS coordinates of a location uniquely identify devices on the internet, while domain names like common names of a location uniquely represent that IP address in an easier to read format. The web navigation though is simplified by DNS which translates that domain name to an IP address. Transfer of data on the internet follows a set of rules, known as HTTP or HTTPS. This data is transferred between the browser, a software app, and a server, a specialized computer. The protocol and domain name together with a specific path form the URL, which is used to get resources on the internet. Users enter the URL in a browser, which sends a request to the server and the response is then rendered on a web browser as a web page. Finally, are you ready to unlock the power of code? This crash course will introduce you to the fundamental concepts of programming, making the world of coding a little less intimidating. Welcome to the fifth video on getting into ID, coding or computer programming basics. Code is a sequence of instructions also known as a program, software, or an app, just like instructions on a recipe for a dish. We write code because computers are waiting to help us solve problems. They have translators to convert the code to machine code. Coding is not just for programmers, but it teaches everyone how to think. You can write scripts to automate anything. It makes you stand out, and it's fun. There are many programming languages to choose from, but it depends on if you are coding for desktop, web, mobile, database, or general purposes. Choose one that is easy to get started. Before coding, ensure you plan and design the solution. After coding, always test and maintain the code, following software development lifecycle and DevOps principles. Adhere to best practices always when coding. Depending on the project, your code may be in a private or public repository, which could reside locally or on the cloud. Ensure you respect the different environments, be it testing, staging, or live, and use version control tools to organize your work. Each programming language is just another language, with its syntax and software development kits. There are several tools at your disposal to make computer programming fun and easy. There you have it, a seven minute crash course in IT designed to equip you with the essential knowledge to thrive in this dynamic field. Whether you're just starting up your journey or looking to refresh your skills, these bite-sized lessons are your gateway to IT success. So I encourage you to subscribe to this channel for more valuable IT tech tips, insights, and I will be providing you with an even better in-depth video next on everything we've just covered. Thank you for watching and catch you on the next video.